When the Olden Kingdom of Asilion fell, the alliance of the Illuminar and Elinar broke apart. You might ask yourself, who were the Illuminar and the Elinar? The Illuminar are known as the first humans of this world and will be spoken of quite often in this tale, as well as the Elinar who are known as the First Elves. They roamed the world of Garadas in the First Age, serving as the foundation of the grand unending tale that takes place in Garadas. The end of their great union brought much darkness over the world, for many would lose hope as they had become leaderless. This time in history is known as the Fall of Asilion, when the Illuminar and Elinar were separated from each other. The Fall of Asilion led to the deaths of many people, as they fought to defend their last battle for the survival of their future. But many were slain both within Asilion and after the kingdom had been taken. The separation of the Illuminar and the Elinar had been caused by the Dunar, who were otherwise known as the Dwarves. The Dunar's late arrival in Muninia made them jealous of the superiority of both the Illuminar and the Elinar. Quickly enough war broke out and Asilion slowly fell. King Harenbrad of the Dunar in the north brought an end to the kingdom of Asilion. The Dunar marched down from the northern lands of Muninia to bring an end to their rivals. It scarred Asilion, as their forces could not withstand the might of the Dunar. Asilion spread apart in many different factions, all hopeful that their future would unite them once more. A kingdom once prospering in all glory of the humans and elves, became a desolated land of nature and wildlife. This place is now known as Mid-Arthal and is located in the center of the continent of Muninia. Many have destined their life towards the return of the Alliance, hoping that their once great union would return. Sadly it has been over 6,000 years that this fact was true, yet hope is gentle.